good afternoon. Just thought I'd give you a, a quick update. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say sorry about last week's uh, vlog that I lost all the footage. I was trying it with a camera, but that just didn't work for me. So I was just started on putting this kitchen in, the galley and this boat, and obviously there's nothing straight because the boat's all the funny shape obviously it curves in here and there so I'm just setting it up trying to get some sort of line and obviously most of it's done by eye so I have to see what I can do I thought I'd just show you what I'm doing and how I'm attempting to find some sort of line and get it straight so have a look see what you think it might be useful to you at some point if you're doing anything so here's what i'm doing as sam before because we're not actually sure what we want in this boat i'm just going to try it out for the minute to get some sort of layout with some cheap uh, kitchen carcasses which obviously no won't last too long but i don't want to spend a lot of money on marine ply and all the time of building it when it doesn't actually seem to be what we want so I thought we'd try this first um, just box standard kitchen carcasses worked out what size and obviously because the side of the boat got curves in I've got you can't really see it but I've put a piece of wood level now with the top of this cabinet and I've gone right the way across and I've fixed it on the other side there so it's given me in between the same size all the way along so I should be able to get the kitchen carcasses keeping the front level with the bit of wood giving me the same size worktop obviously the cupboards inside will be different sizes but it's to do with the eye as well on the outside you won't really see that once it's in as you can see you know, this one's got to be cut to quite a funny shape because of the bow of the boat obviously so try and get it to fit in so it's got to be quite a lot of hacking and as you can see I've marked it there because I'm going to have to cut the bottom too so we've gone across, marked it here the same, the same line up. Um, I'm going to give that a go and I'll show you how that comes out. I've fitted these carcasses now. Give you a quick look. Um, I'm not really sure what layout I want, so I've gone with this. The end one here. I'm going to put a fire down the bottom, two drawers at the top, the space I've left in between here is where the cooker's going to go in. Um, next to this, in this thousand unit, a metre, I'm going to put a fridge on one side with a drawer above the top, then obviously a mattering drawer just to make it look the same with a door underneath with the sink on the side over here um, draining board will go up here something like that with a, another door on there and as you can see because obviously the boat nothing is level on the boat I put a batten all the way across the front to get all the fronts nice and straight I don't know if you can see that at the back of Put that in there so that I've allowed for the 30 mil insulation to go underneath here and then the worktop to go on up against it and that should seal that completely and be level with the top there. But like I was saying I haven't actually I've obviously fixed it with the little fixings what come but I haven't glued any of this because this is the one I was showing you earlier this cabinet where I was just scribing it in 
just with a block of wood like I showed you once before how to do and they're all pretty good fits I'm quite happy with it when it's fitting some of them are more difficult than others but it's fitting okay so I'm quite happy with uh, the result of that and if I want to make it from ply I can just dismantle this and obviously where that's all been cut to shape like that as you can see that it's bowed in then goes back in I can just dismantle it lay it on a piece of ply and cut it and put it back together and I've got it completely in marine ply and all that for what 60 80 90 pounds I would have spent more than that uh, on bits of wood really and I can try this out if the layout's what I actually want if it is I could make it out of marine ply uh, if it's not I can just move it around and see what to do with it well like I was saying in the one bit in the galley kitchen bit on the boat I was going to put the fridge I've done quite a lot of research into different sorts of fridges because you've obviously got like two-way fridges three-way fridges uh, you've got so many different types you've got compressor fridges um, maybe I'll do a vlog about the research I've done about all these different fridges what works the best I've actually found one now you can just completely run off of solar power so you could just leave it running all year round if you wanted to if you've got solar panels you don't need no shore hookup you don't need no gas so it's a lot easier to fit as well if some of you would be interested in that if you let me know and I'll do a vlog about it and it might be helpful if you're thinking about putting a fridge or buying a new fridge for your boat uh, just let me know in the comments below and don't forget you can subscribe it's always nice to see that someone's out there interested in what I'm doing uh, gives me a bit more incentive and if it's helpful you give it a thumbs up or thumbs down in this case maybe uh, I don't know but if you give it a thumbs down just let me know why and maybe I can change it hopefully uh, speaks to you uh, next time